Now, with that being said, <laughs> this video is gonna to relate to a lot of you because we're gonna to work today on how not to cast the club and how to hold the angle longer. Now, when you watch her swing, it's a beautiful golf swing but we've historically always given up the angle a little bit too much. Now what she does, she does very well where she'll get rid of it, but she'll still hold on to it through impact and still arrive with forward shaft lean unlike most. Un most will go this way and then they get this way through impact. Shreya does not do that, so she hits the ball very well. But she has 10, 15 more yards in her, we've always known this, from just being able to get the first move down, being more with the handle, less with the club head. So today, we're gonna talk about some things we can do to increase the angle, increase the lag in transition, and then allow for the ability to not have to hold on to the angle that was lost, but to actually release as we rotate, which that's what gets the power. So what I'm looking to accomplish is to eliminate all of this. So right now, uh, the reason that I was working on the pump drills is to kind of practice creating that angle instead of just like releasing the mm. club out that way. So instead, with my backswing, I'm just focusing on moving it more this way. Exactly. So, so then know, I can attack. What I tell her is, hey, there's an imaginary finish line right here from the golf ball to your body. Go up to the top of the swing right there. We're trying to get her hands not spending too much time over here, but over here faster. Break through that finish line before the club gets there. That's a, a really important thought. You know, I had my mentor out here. You guys have seen him, Todd Sones. We talked about the importance of hand speed. Hand speed, you know, the ability to actually get the hands moving. My hands get from here, I have a tremendous amount of lag. My hands get from here to here a lot quicker than most. So for you, it's not having the hands spend time on the right side of your body. It's having those hands get in front of you sooner, okay? So imagining there's a finish line from your sternum to the golf ball, and you're trying to break through that finish line with the handle, and that right there will lag the club more. So show us the pump drill, because the pump drill is a great spot for us to start out with today. She's directly attacking the problem area, working on the transition of the golf swing, holding that angle more so she can release later. Here it is, one, two, love that. Yeah, and see that's a great, great, great way to start. It's not just a drill that increases the angle, but it induces connection. And here's mm -hmm. why. I go up to the top, sternum and hands together, sternum and hands together, sternum and hands together. So I'm maintaining that connection. I'm not just moving my arms independently to the top and then independently coming down. I'm feeling my hands and my body stay connected, stay connected. But here's the thing. I'm also creating this angle going back and I'm maintaining that angle, maintaining that angle. All right, Kev, so once again, here we go. We're setting the angle. We're turning the top with connection, coming down with connection. Maintaining the angle. Boom. Boom. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. It's a great drill. Remember that. Brings back, uh, brings back memories. Did a lot of those when I was a kid. Wonderful, wonderful drill for maintaining that connection. If you don't have too much grip pressure, you can also increase it like Shreya was doing. So here's the big thing. If I were to grip it, and I would tell you right now, on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably, I'm like a six. If 10's the hardest, I'm like a six. But that's important to understand because this is the connecting point between me and the golf club. If I'm less than a five, it's, it's loose and I don't want that. I want to hold on enough to where I have control, but not to the point to where it's rigid, right? So if we have it at a six, it's still soft enough and more importantly, the next thing, if we grip it in our fingers. And this is one thing that Shreya does well, so we really have no excuses, okay? She grips, it in the, she grips it in the fingers. Now, here's the thing. Under the heel pad, Kev, bring it in tight. You guys can see. Look at, see the calluses? That's literally outlining where I have that grip right there, right under the heel pad. And then look at this one. Here's the big hand, you guys. Let me tell you. People who get it in the palm of their trail hand, see ya, but watch this. I have it in the fingers here. You can see up in here, not down the base of the fingers. So right here as well. Now, if I have it in the fingers, that will allow for that lag. Now, here's the thing. It's about connection. It's about maintaining the angle. So we have a softer grip, about a six out of 10. Okay, we have that transition looking like this. Up, boom, boom. And that nice connection through the golf ball. Now, here's the big thing. When you do this, you always wanna make sure you're turning it up to the top together, bringing it down together. I love the sternum and the hands facing each other throughout this. 
okay? Hop in there again, work on that connection as well as maintaining the angle. Boom. So when we refer, get, get up there again, when we refer to hammering the nail, we've, a lot of our viewers have heard that. Watch, go to the top of the swing and hold it for me. Here's the hammer, here's the nail, boom. See how she's hammering that nail, you guys? That's the feeling right there. She's driving the handle through impact. Swinging the handle, not swinging the club head itself. And the one thing I'll tell her, and if she's working right now really hard on holding that angle, now all we have to do after we are connected and maintaining the angle, let's rip that handle through and open that left hip up. I call it hip and grip, right? The hip and the grip move together. And that'll end up getting that zip that we need. That was great. There's the, there's the rotation we need. And the reason why I don't like creating a feeling of down cocking it, I don't want the club working in a separate direction than my body intentionally. That's gonna be really loose and tough for a player to control. So for somebody who's getting rid of the angle, make it simple. Just start off with maintaining the angle that you have and then being able to release. That'll be enough to still pick up some serious distance, right? Of course, when we're rehearsing it the right way at home or we're not you know, doing it over a golf ball, having a soft grip going to the top and then feeling it settle a little bit like this isn't a bad thing, but man, Good luck going to play around a golf, feeling like you're down cocking it and adding more angle, which happens naturally, happens naturally in the swing, not something that should be forced. If it's forced, really, really tough to do. For right now, here's the big thing. I love us getting up there and creating that right angle, that L between the left arm and the club, turning it to the top, driving the handle and maintaining, and then just rotating and releasing through impact, okay? That was really good. I want you to feel like the hands are faster okay. and you're swinging more with your left hand, not your right hand. Guys, look at this. Right hand naturally. Left hand naturally. Look at that. Almost everybody, when I have them swing with their lead hand, creates more lag and transition, has more forward shuffling through impact. It's like almost 100%. It's 100% of the time, actually. Um, and if I ever you know, have somebody who's really violently flipping it through impact, I go, hey, drop that right hand off the club. Just let me take a video and I'll show them in slow motion. And it's every time like this because it really is all about swinging the handle, not the club head itself. Wow, that was just incredibly good right there. Oh, beautiful. Even Pity stops by for this lesson for a little bit. Yeah, this is, uh, this isn't just a yeah. student. This is true. This is truly, this is family right here. There was a point to where when I was teaching her, I have a picture, we'll get you this picture, absolutely, <laughs> where I'm on a knee right here and I'm just about ready to fix her grip and she's looking at me pretty much almost eye to eye. <laughs> that's, that's how little this one was when we started working and uh, I just couldn't be more proud of her. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.